Hello everybody and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3, excuse the noise, <laughs> but uh, welcome back. We are going to do some skulking around in the interior of the castle now and it's been super fun. We get higher and higher up and it's uh, I, I have an excellent time so I hope you guys do too. But yeah, the video, this is editing me, editing Squirrel, and so now the video, the actual video, will start in a second. Well, let's see if we can get out and not die, not be accosted by people immediately. Get out of here and go up into the rafters. Also, that's nice to know that I can go up into the rafters. What? Oh, he's mad. Says, uh, okay, I'm I actually, I'm cheating. I'm seeing, no, I am not seeing any of our important people in here. Um, oh my gosh, is this door open? Close this door. Close it, oh my gosh. Uh, that's so scary! Uh, seeing the eyeball was scary. Actually, don't go down there. Don't go. Don't go down there and see the dead bodies. Uh, but I do need to find. Oh wait. They wouldn't admit it. The absolute calls us all to. These are our, the people. Your family, Marza. What's okay? Eventually. Ooh, maybe bad. Shit, that's the blood lady over there, right? And this was funny when it was just goblins branding asses, but you lot mean business, eh? Oh, so, um... Who's the person that's... Oh, well... Oh, not you. You. Ah, a new face come to bask in the light of the absolute... Wait, is she that? How can I be of service, true soul? Uh, no, we do not want... No, um, do... Okay. We do not want to say that we were at the goblin camp because she knows how that went, and she's either playing she's either playing stupid or she doesn't remember, and I don't want to remind her. I don't want to trade with the likes of you, though. Many hearts. Uh, one soul. Tarf? Of many thoughts. Of one mind. If you have coin, then show Oh, okay, it. okay. This is the bugbear. What do you have on offer? I do actually want those were useful. Oh, this is perfect for my girlfriend, Carlac. While raging, the wearer generates two turns of wrath. Oh, but it's oh, it is clothing. Okay, I'll buy it. This is a funny one. Often mistaken for a relic of the wizard's big wizard Big B's creation, the staff was ironically made as a bite stick for Big B's dog, Big Boy. I love that. That's adorable. Okay. Get moving, will you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Disciple wants to see. Oh my gosh, I got the main XP doors. just for walking through, and it scared me so much. I don't want to. I don't want to interact too much with those people. seems to be dripping from the rafters above. I don't know how. My friend said there's like a ladder on the outside, I guess. <gasps> oh. No, don't, don't you dare go through any strange rooms, you maniacs. They have a really hard time with this particular tree route. They're like, we gotta go around. I'm like, no. Somebody already was like, oh, the true soul, whatever, the other one will want to see you. And I'm like, no. <laughs> In the oh, dark. Wait, 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 come on. You guys, Many I believe. Many voices. That's progress. Right. F5 before we go up. Luckily, no one seems to be panicking on anything. I guess it's maybe acting like we killed all the guards <clears throat> down below. Like the wardens and everything, even though like they specifically got away. I mean, this is well and good, but, um... 
Oh, there's more ladder over there. This doesn't do me anything as far as I can tell. I don't see anything. Well, thanks for that. Oh, maybe... Alright, let's go. <clears throat> Ouchie. Alright, I thought we weren't going to get over everyone over here for a second, but we managed. Have a lot it's much mind. nicer playing with and the girl well, squad. The girl boss it. girl squad. They can all make the jumps. <clears throat> Come on, Halson. <laughs> what is needed? Uh, I need you to jump, his brother, is what I need. I guess he has... This spell that we can use. All right. What all now? right. Now we are in Char Prayer Book. All right. All right. My dark goddess. When I lost my daughter, I learned my purpose. I learned my purpose. I gathered the flock. Oh, is this Catherick? When the flock was full, I punished the wicked. When the wicked struggled, I struck them down. My dark goddess. I'm yours. I mean, he's not the only. Yeah, it might be because it's charred. It's like it's like burnt, you know. So maybe he like wrote that when he was like in, in desperation, and uh, was and then he burnt it because he was like, screw that, you know. Okay, so I'm seeing, I'm seeing. What's that? Where does that go? Oh, maybe. I'm seeing stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm seeing these roots here. These are locked doors that I'm going to assume I'm not supposed to go in. Because they're bright red. I don't know if I'm going to see anybody in there. Light on my feet. I should be able to open the door, though. Yeah. Okay, I'm supposed to have a key. The freaking unlocks everything. Idle. Let's get this lock to yield. Oh. Uh, I guess we'll give her one shot at it, but... No. This is not gonna go well. Mm. Alright. We need a Starion for this. I wanted to bring Shadowheart for the Char stuff, but mostly for, like, any undead shenanigans that were gonna maybe be happening. Very well. Need something? But... I would, but you have... Apparently, for now, I need someone to unlock doors. And Asterion is very useful. So. His combat capabilities are excellent. Alright, bucko. Despite me having a freaking key to Moonrise Towers. Although, if this is what I think it is, it's probably Catherine Thorne's rooms. So. Not a huge surprise. Of course he rolls a crit. He has like 20 points in bonuses. And then he rolls a crit. Boy's just good at this. No one back home will ever believe this. Let's see. Outsider never liked stairs. Or outlander. Would it? Enter a restricted area of moonrise towers from the outside. Well, I didn't see any stairs on the inside, so... Okay, these are uh, two different rooms. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Who else has been here? There's like a... This is... Oh, I wonder if this is the monster's been like eating people? Or if this is like supposed to be this way? Oh, oh my gosh. It's the, oh. You'd think you wouldn't want your workplace to be so gross. Like with like a desk. and Like this looks like it's supposed to be a nice place. But there's like a bunch of nasty things. Memory? Oh no, I was like, memory shard from the Underdark? No. Okay, well, let's ease in. Yeah. Might be worth a look. Bookshelf labeled poisons and venoms, musty tomes, conventional medicine, galvanic, blah, 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 blah. All right, let's have a look. Is there a secret? Yeah, there's a secret door! I hope. 
Oh, gall. You scared me. Or... Oh! Okay, I pulled the wrong one. Pulled the wrong tone. Oh, no. Everybody run. Everybody run. Is it locked? <gasps> it's locked behind us! Oh, no! <laughs> Uh, hang on, I can't, huh, is it gonna go away? I can't turn my, my camera, that was weird. Okay, so, poisons and venoms, musty tomes, conventional medicine, galvanic interrogations. I'm gonna look around before I start pulling books off the shelves now. A heart? You uh, you just got a human heart. You just... I don't want that in my pockets. I'm sure it's probably useful... Balthazar's personal notes. I'm sure it's probably useful for some sort of, um... You know, alchemical thing. Uh, but I'm not at that point in my paladin career. Request from the next caravan. Any works by Morden Kanan. Must catch up on current events. Novo, a better a century of ignorance. Hin vellum holds ink like no other. Could harvest from an acolyte. Ew, is that like human skin or something? New copy of Swift and Sudden Death for library. Current, current volume badly scorched. Okay. Traveler's chest. Let's see. A crystalline lint. Oh, okay. I was like, that's was that like a thing I need to have? But it's just an alchemical thing. Thank you. That was a tongue of madness. A lever. Pull the lever. Oh, okay, that's how you open the door. All right, we can keep that closed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Ooh, um, let me see. I did Are you serious? Man's obviously been murderized in a horrific way in a place that has viscera just piled up in corners. I don't actually want the arm, thank you. Oh! Who are you? You're just a corpse. There's like, it's just like a torture thing right there. A torture rack. Okay, and there's like, I'm just thinking like there's like, you know, nice tapestries in here. So I was thinking maybe there are people in here and they got all like turned into viscera, you know. But uh, the surgery kit and it are a spooky urn. Look at that. That's a death urn if I've ever seen one. Um, and they have like an Iron Maiden cage over here. Ooh. Brain? There's a brain in there. Bottled tentacles. And desert wine. Attention acolytes, let's see. No, oh, I wanted to read it. Read. Acolytes are permitted entry to my chambers for the sole purpose of collecting moon lanterns. My library is not to be tampered with, but the absolute while the absolute appreciates your eagerness to learn, my bookshelves do not. Any request to borrow them must be given from me in advance and are likely to be fused. Should you desire information on poisons, do not think to read any <laughs> Dang it! Of course it was the first one. So like I was like, oh, go in order. And I started with the bottom. And no, yeah. They are inclined to grant more knowledge than the written word could provide. Remember, the absolute purpose is better served by a beating heart than a poisoned mind. Though if you choose death, I will ensure you serve her still. Okay, well, I don't want that. So, thanks. Attention, acolytes. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, a severed torso, severed pelvis, severed legs. <gasps> why would you put the why are you why are you hanging dead bodies near your bookshelves? This feels why are you sh this feels very chaotic. Like I I don't I don't like this at all. I keep this stuff separate. Like the next room can be your torture viscera room and this room should be your bookshelves, you know? Ooh, there's an engraved Yankee disc. That doing here. The disc is formed from slate and engraved with Githyanki writing. Yeah, I know. It closely resembles the disc that lays on <gasps> this. Is this Orpheus lore? This time, the symbols easily <gasps> resolve into coherent yes! words and sentences. The story of Orpheus further unfolds. The Prince of the Comet, Part Three. Ready. 
The histories tell us that Commander Voss, Gestil Kithrak, pierced Prince Orpheus clean through with his sword of silver. That his flesh was torn and fed to the great red dragon, Ephelaman. Vlakith's faithful roar out this tale. But beneath the roars, we hear whispers carrying truth and prophecy. The Prince of the Comet is not dead. The Prince of the Comet will come again. The Prince of the Comet will liberate us from Vlacketh's tyranny. Praise be to Mother Gith, Queen of the One Sky. Praise be to your son, Orpheus, the true heir, Prince of the Comet. The chapter ends there. This disc might be of some interest to Lazar. Yeah, now that she's like super questioning things. Like also... Another. another story about the Gith Yankee Prince. Um... Voss. Is that the same Voss? Because they are, they can kind of be, they're kind of immortal. The Gith can be kind of immortal. They only age when they come onto the, this plane and not in the astral plane. Um, so Voss, like, pretended to kill the prince and is now, or like, not now, but necessarily, but like, in order to, like, hide the prince, right? And now Voss is like, the time is coming and we need to, like, rise up once more and bring him back, you know? Uh, that could be what's going on. Or maybe Voss changed his mind, you know? After he thought he killed the prince. But I'm thinking they're probably in cahoots with each other. A clasped book. Oh, ho, 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 don't mind if I do. Wait, where is it? Okay, let's see. This is probably going to hurt me. It might hurt me. Oh, yay. This is a uh, log on the work of one of Bothair's necromancers, Cressa Bone Daughter. What a sick name. Dated two ten days ago. After the state the fallen one was in, I never expected Cressa would be able to save it. I was hoping that the usurped thing would die. That's what it would have wanted. It's not as if Cressa studying it is going to prove much. It was damaged in the attack far beyond what the mere tadpole could do, but she seems fond of the foul creature. Let her play with it. Another entry seems to be written in this log dated to ten day later. I should not have, in hindsight, let Gressa keep her pet. Ever since it was shipped under one of the Nautiloids to be deployed, she has been inconsolable. It won't survive out there. It needs me. It isn't like the others. The feral thing will make a fine warrior for the absolute, and now my best assistant is distracted thinking about it. Pah. She will come to heal again soon enough. So... Is this supposed to tell me that somebody's going to betray us? It won't survive out there. Is Sh has Shadowheart been like? Is that why she's lost her memories? Actually, maybe because like Shadowheart was caught because she. Well, where did? Oh, never mind. She did go to the Gith to get the object, the artifact, and then she was then. I don't remember how she got onto the Nautiloid, though, actually, now that I think about it. I could just be forgetting. It's been so long. Um, but, like, if somebody's mind has been tampered with and then they were planted on the Nautiloid ship for some reason to, like, get more information or to get the artifact or whatever, I don't know I don't know if these guys even know about the artifact necessarily or, or if they need something from the Illithids. Um... But, because, yeah, she didn't come here. Unless her mind has just been totally warped. Unless Shadowheart's mind has been totally warped. The other option is Lazel, potentially. Because she did have, like, this this place had a Githyanki, uh, like, orb thing. The feral thing will make a fine warrior for the absolute. I wonder if that is Lazel or Shadowheart. Oh, oh, oh! Secrets upon secrets. I don't know. I do like the... Okay. You're gonna like the books on fire? Turn it off. You maniac. Eh. Okay, Asterion, I need you to unlock things, because freaking... Shadow Art was doing great till I reloaded at one point, and then she freaking... Are you serious? Of course he did. And I didn't, of course, if I had added the bonus, I was like, I don't need to add the bonus. Whoa, look at that. 
Another cloak. When you poison a foe, you heal yourself for 1d4 points. Do you wanna, wanna wear that, Asterion? Oh, he looks so dashing. Asterion can have it. A crystal ball. Goblin troops recruit, though crude and a bit dim, are valuable because they are adaptable and can be fitted into a number of different military roles, excelling in archery, skirmishes, and war cavalry scouts. If rigorously drilled, some can function as disciplined phalanxes, armed with half pikes. Even the ones who can't be trained in marching step can serve as prime catapult fodder. The key to recruiting a tribe of goblins is their profound respect for their priests, with the tribe members and worshipping the all conquering Magliop. Therefore, that the high priests of the seven tribes above be invited, well flattered, and they're going to be. Jugs of plonk, laced with mild paralytic. The priests will awaken with new guests in their crania and be led into a docile devotion. Wow. That's by advisor, ball player, whatever. Sylvanus' blessings. Sylvanus' blessings, Japonio. Hello, world. What? Also, like, look at this thing. This is just excessive. Oh, look at this skeleton. Frog. A frog guy section, really? So this is not what I was thinking. It's not Kethrix. What was it? A moon lantern. Is it intact? Shouldn't there be a pixie in there? I mean, well, I was gonna free the pixie. Okay, well, um, I would free the pixie that I think is in there, but apparently not. Balthazar's personal notes. How did I miss those? Install a drain beneath the library's conventional medicine shelf. It's wasteful to let all that blood seep through the flagstones and it will rust the spikes. Besides, disregard. The smell gives me sweet dreams. Ooh, okay, well, I'm still in your notes. I am curious. Must be Let's see. Let's see. Oh. Ooh. An ancient altar. I don't think I have picked anything up. Purple fluoride shard? Uh, why not? That mean okay, he gave it back. I was like, no. Hmm. Hey. What was that one? Galvanic and, and conventional medicine. Balthazar's, or Balthazar's, not Balthazar, Balthazar's apprentice that rose from the dead, and this was that other breath. intact body. I shall never relent. Battle favors the fearless. Yeah, nobody mind us. Oh, the spikes! <laughs> okay, I was like, is there like spikes underneath here somewhere? No, there were spikes uh, right, right here. Now I can see them. Now I can see the pattern kind of in the floor. Well, that's good to know. Um, Can't slow down. There is, however, an altar. And I what don't. A day. I could really use some shots. Are you guys here? You guys look fine, and you don't even you you you, you don't you have okay. You have used up your stuff. Whatever shall it be? Maybe maybe we do a short rest just because some of us oh, a short our, respite, but better our, than nothing. Need our spells back. Still breathing. Nope, that's still out. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I need I need a nap. 
big time. Although I do have, I think I have the angelic reprieve. <laughs> the subtext is so funny. Um, or the sub, yeah, the lower text, not necessarily the subtext. I almost don't want to waste it. I'm gonna regret saying that here soon. I wanna check the other room. We are rolling well. He's not. He is not rolling well. Finally, I have done this like 27 times, and I had to actually reload because I ran out of these tools. Oh my gosh! The first one he got a crit, and this one, like I know you need it. He's gonna need to roll high for it, but still, that's a lot. All's well that ends. A Not as bad as it could have. First. This has to be Bal of the room. Don't waste a step. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> Why the auto save? This guy is like he's like I am a necromancer in like. Freaking just has bone art everywhere. I don't see him in here. The only people who are here are down below. What's in here? What's in here? Crikey, mate. Yeah, uh -huh, uh -huh. we already saw that. A oh, rich and fertile land. The special emphasis placed on areas for prolific foraging. Well, not anymore. Oh, invasion plans for elsewhere. Elturel. E I I know that name, but I don't. God, Will standing in front of the fire with his horns. I was like, <sighs> I was freaking out for a second. I thought he was a bad guy. I'm sorry, Will. Oh, wow, this is a... I don't know if it's like glitched out or what, but this door is at just darkness. Absolute darkness. And what's with this? Hmm? Hmm? Your white ribs, the pillars, your bleached skull, the dome, take on Apostle's final form, cathedral, raw of blessed. Boom. God, I'm so dumb. And we don't have, um,. Pride of the Shadow are here with us. Let's try. We're all idiots. Hmm? Just a bunch of himbos. Catherine's hey! been studying something called the Apostle. Buzz of which god. Makes sense Housen would know things, because Housen's been alive for a dead. long time. Attracting drow exiles. I'd love to hear this. Sweeping up the drow. Individual drow renegades is not giving us the cadre of wealth trained veterans I want for our staff and officer corps. Must be more ambitious. Uh, we'll be commanded to infiltrate Menzo Bar in itself. Ideally, House Banner. I'll send to proselytize on the behalf of the Divine Absolute. I think Zilvery will be convincing in this role. This, intru this intrusion will create outrage among the Banner matrons who can be counted upon to send a warband to exterminate whoever so rash to promote anti wealth apostasy in their home. They will have the person will have a clear trail back here to Moonrise Towers where the warband will not find the circle of ragtag heretics but an army in the making. I'll probably with the drow leader, but as we negotiate, our warband will be ambushed, and every drow warrior we capture will be tadpoled. This accomplished, the warband leader will meet the same fate, and thus we shall acquire our cadre of hardened underdark warriors. Oh, it will cost us a light life of the agent. He's a tedious enthusiast, and I will not miss him. All right, well, that's probably uh, Minthar, not yeah, Minthara, the drow woman that we met, who was like, ah, at the, the absolute. Maybe she was um bamboozled, you know? Oh my gosh. Should be easy. Ah! Uh, perception failed, my boy? Oak Father, watch over your servant. Why is everybody failing perceptions? Something oh, okay. 
I thought we were Something missing the fact that it was like a no, never mind. Tra trapped thing. Elder brain domination. I'm gonna. I'm so excited. Confidential, dedicated or dictated. Sorry. Oh my gosh, my controller, my my freaking game's gonna explode. And I know that's a criminal cliffhanger, but we're gonna have to leave it there because I have a limited amount of time in this Airbnb and I am fast approaching the time limit. <laughs> so thank you all for watching. I appreciate it really quick. I want to say thank you to my patrons, to all my patrons, including my Acorn Tier patrons. Thank you so much for your support, Fane. I very much appreciate it. And I want to give an extra special shout out to Reese Galito, my Sapling Tier patron. Thank you so much for your support. I very much appreciate it as well. And I want to give an extra, extra special shout out to Christopher, my Forest Tier patron, who's going to bum and be on in his support of me in the channel. And I cannot thank him enough. So thank you all again for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.